Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss doing AB deployments using in OpenShift. AB deployments is a deployment model that is used uh, commonly these days for uh, for achieving minimum downtime of applications. Where you would, when you whenever you make changes to your application, you would want to run more than one version of the application at the same time, and then uh, switch over to the newer version of application over a period of time. Let's let's look at what, how it works. Uh, let's say you have your application, and uh, uh, and a, a version of your application is running. Let's say you deployed a version one of your application, and it's running, and uh, the end user is accessing this application using a using a URL assigned to this application, and uh, there is a router that is front ending, and uh, when you let's say there are multiple instances of your application running uh, and uh, when the user hits that URL the router takes care of directing the traffic to uh, one of those uh, instances that are running for application which is of version 1 now let's say you need to make changes to this application and at that point you introduce a changed version of, of, of this application. And in case of AB deployments, instead of turning off the older version of your application and then switching over to the newer version, what you would try to do is run both the versions of applications at the same time, wherein you would, let's say you had four instances of application version one running, you introduce just one instance of application version two here, right? And uh, now, and you will configure your router to uh, direct some of the traffic to application version 2. And uh, if you are happy with how that version 2 is working, right, then you would increase the number of instances of version 2, the, your changes, and you will gradually reduce the number of instances of application version 1. And uh, over a period of time, you would, uh, you would completely remove application version one and uh, your application version two takes over from there, right? And this also allows you to actually roll back the, the to application version one. If you are not happy with version two, then you can scale down the number of instances of version two and increase the number of instances of version one as desired. So you can do the reverse effect if, if you wanted to, right? Now, this kind of a, implementation of AV deployments comes naturally out of OpenShift due to the way in which OpenShift itself is architected. And let's see how that is, how that can be achieved with, with what we have. Um, basically, if you look at, if, if you have understood the architecture of OpenShift um, in the past, right? OpenShift runs the application instances in OpenShift or uh, any app runs inside a Kubernetes pod. So let's say your application version one is running and it is running in four different pods, let's say, right? And those pods are front-ended by a service which groups all the pods related to this application. So let us say we have um, assigned a label to this application version one and we, and we assigned a label called a, B member equal to true, meaning um, I am going to be using uh, an A, B deployment model for this application in the future. So make me make me as part of this A, B member or A, B group. Uh, we are just setting a random label like that. Like you, you can choose whatever name you want. While creating an application, we can add labels uh, for, for the service to be able to group your parts based on that label. We'll see how to do that in, in when we are creating an app. So now the service will be configured with a selector to select all the parts that are with that label AB member equal to two. It's true, right? And when you expose this service with a route, then your router will be configured to direct all the traffic coming to your application to any of these parts, which are 
selected by using the selector, right? Now, with this kind of an architecture being there, um, when you have to introduce a change to the application in, in our AB deployment model, all you would do is add your version two application, the B, B version of the application, and assign the same exact label, and that's it. Your service will pick up your new parts based on the same selector that we had assigned to it before, and the traffic gets now routed between version one and version two, and eventually you can just keep version two and remove version one if you're happy with version two, right? So that's the model. Uh, uh, let's look at the example of how to do that in OpenShift. So now I'm logged on to my OpenShift environment on, a, on the web console. I am in a project creation screen. I'm creating a new project with the uh, name AV deployment, and I just gave a display name and description as well. And I'll say create. This creates the new project. And now let's add an application, version A, right? So on um, GitHub, I have uh, uh, provided a, a, a sample code for this. I have uh, um, a simple application. What it does is it, it shows um, that it just displays a version number and it says where this part is running. It's, it displays the IP address of the part, right? Now let's take this and deploy it uh, into OpenShift as an application A. So I'll go back and I'll use this URL. And uh, since this is a PHP app, I'm selecting PHP. Uh, I'll call this app A. And uh, we will, since we are going to create a new service and uh, uh, and we will be using our own selectors, I will not create the route for now. I'll just remove the route. So I am deploying app A with no route and uh, we'll scale it up later. As of now, what I'll do is I'll add a label called uh, AB group member is true, right? So now this label got added and when I create this application, any part that gets created would have that label applied. Now this will take a couple of minutes for this application to spin up. In the meanwhile, what we'll do is we will use our project um, C project AB deployment and uh, let's look at what deployment con configurations exist. Now there is a deployment configuration for app A that was that's already created, so let's edit that. We'll see edit DC. Now, if you look at this, it has a label, AB group member equal to true, right? That means that any part that gets created will get added uh, this label. Uh, now, what we'll do is we'll also add this to the selectors, right? So I added a selector here to this uh, deployment config. Now, let us also add a new service to, to expose this deployment configuration with this change that we just added, right? So we'll add a new service and uh, so I'm exposing a service, the DC app A with the name, I am assigning a name AB service because this is a common service that applies both to application A as well as application B. So I'm calling it AB. And uh, I mean, it's just a naming con convention I'm using. There's nothing, you, you can call it any XYZ, it doesn't matter. And I am assigning the selector of AB group member equal to two. True, this is the one that we configured, right? And uh, we are going to generate a new service. By default, when OpenShift um, uh, created this application, it would have added a service. Ignore that, we are creating a new service that can 
that is configured to with the selector AB group member equal to true, right? So let's see uh, if I do OC get service, you will see now there are two services. One is that app A, which was generated before, right? And there is a new service that we just added. This is what we are going to use now. Um, and uh, this, this is a service that we will use to expose via our route, okay? Now, let's also create uh, the, a route um, by using this service, right? Um, I will expose service, AB service, and I'll create a new route with the name, let's say AB route, and uh, I'll assign a URL, a host name equal to um, AB deploy, okay? Now my service is exposed via this route. In the meanwhile, the build is still running, so let's give it uh, a couple of more minutes for it to be done. So the application is now deployed and uh, uh, you, let's see the, the build is complete. The one part of this application is running, right? So let us, um, and, and if you look at the services, there is a service that was created along with the application. We'll ignore that and we created our own service, uh, a new service and we assigned a URL uh, to expose the service. Let's open this uh, link in a new tab. So if I look at it, now my application is now running since there is a single pod, which is ending with 59, right? Um, let me show you on the overview page, there is one pod running that is 10.1.1.59 and that's what is shown here, right? Now, Let's do something. Let's uh, scale up this application. Uh, OC scale DC app A. This is the uh, the I'm I'm saying use the deployment configuration app A and scale this application and uh, set the number of replicas to four. Okay. Once I do that, watch in the back. It, it, has, it has spun up four different pods immediately and uh, it's slowly the pods start turning into running status, right? Now they are all running. Now let's do something else. Um, we will uh, now run, we'll put a for loop and run uh, a curl to the same URL to see what we get. So the scaling is running. I, I did a uh, 10 time curl to the same URL that we configured, right? It says, I am version one, I am version one, I am version one all the time, it's version one. And it says, the, it gives the pod number 59, 60, 66, 67. Look at it, 59, 60, 66, 67. And then it's load balancing the track. It, it's doing in the round robin way, like 59, 60, 66, 67. Again, the same things will repeat, right? So Basically, we have an application version one and four instances of this application are running. And uh, when we are uh, act, uh, from the client side, from the, my local machine, when I'm uh, accessing this uh, application, I am um, hitting all different parts. And uh, my, uh, the, the, route is, uh, the router is routing the traffic to between load balance and the traffic across different parts. That's what we have seen so far. Now, let us uh, do the next step. Now we'll go to the application and we'll make a small change here, right? I'll uh, edit this file. I'll change this to version two, right? Now, and I'll also commit these changes. I'm not asking OpenShift at this point to update app A to that new version. Instead, what I'm going to do now is create an additional application within the same project, right? And I'll uh, use the same, uh, the same GitHub URL to deploy my application. I'll select the same PHP 5.5, 5, 
and uh, this time I'm calling it app B instead of app A, right? That the first one was app A, this is app B. Now I'll not create a route because we already have a route and that will take care of this. And what we'll do is we'll just create one pod. So scaling replicas is set to one by default and uh, we'll edit the labels and we will give the same exact group membership, AB group member, whatever you configured in, in the selector for the service, that same label name should apply to this, these pods as well, right? So, and I'll add that. Now, now, now I'll create this app B. Now, open shift will do the source to image process. It will go and pick up the source code from this Git repository and it will overlay that source code on the top of the PHP image. It will create an application image and it will then deploy that image. And that process will take uh, a, a couple of minutes for that to happen. The app B is still, the, uh, the scheduler is still waiting to schedule a build job. So we'll give it a minute and, and come back. So now the deployment of uh, uh, app B is complete. It was, it's successfully built, it's pushed into the repository and then now it is deployed and it is running with a single pod. And that pops, pod's IP address you can see is 10.1.2.37, right? Now uh, let's run that same for loop again. As you can see that app A, which is the version one, is has four instances running, right? And app B, which is version two of our application, has only one instance running. So we should see the same kind of thing uh, when we uh, uh, look at this, the output of this for loop. If you see this, right, there are four instances of app one running. So with the round robin scheduling, you'll see that uh, there is 66, 67, 59, and 60, which are the app A parts, right? Those are re returning version one. And uh, 37, which is 2.37, which is pod uh, belonging to version two is returning I am version two, right? And then this repeats. So it's like four results from uh, the uh, from the version one and one result from version two, which is consistent with the, the number of parts that are running, right? To move forward with our AB deployment process, now let's say we are happy with, uh, the way in which uh, version two is running. So let's increase the scale up the number of pods for version two and scale down the number of pods for version one. So all I'm going to do is OC scale, uh, deployment configuration, app A, replicas, I'm going to reduce this to two, right? And for app B, I'll increase this to two. So we'll have equal number of pods of both, right? As you can see, while I'm making this change, it's happening behind this, uh, right behind the screen, right? You are seeing that the app A has two pods now and app B has two pods now. It took a second for, for those to get into the running status. Now let's run that for loop again, right? Now we should see that one result is from version one other result from version two, one result from version one, other from version two. So it's like, it's equally distributed. So you have 66, 60 returning version one and uh, 68 and 37 returning version two, right? So now let's say you are not happy with the change and you want to roll back. You can always scale the app A up. But let's assume that app B is, uh, the changes we made for app B are good and we can scale app A completely down. So let's set the replicas to zero. It's gone. You can see that app A, there are no pods running at this point of time, right? And for app B, we'll set the number of replicas to four, our favorite number. Now, you'll see that quickly this uh, app B has four parts there. Two of them are in the pending status, now they're running, okay? Now let's run the for loop again. Everything is version two now, right? So that's how uh, AB deployments uh, can be achieved in uh, OpenShift. There are some improvements that are expected in this area in terms of assigning the percentages and all, but we'll cover them when it comes to that.
So that's uh, in short the AB deployments in OpenShift. Thanks a lot for watching the video.